In the early 1930s, the Soviet Union believed that the development of a multi-purpose heavy fighter would be one of the future development directions of fighter aircraft. As a result, they planned to develop a combat aircraft that could perform long-range escort, bombing, and aerial reconnaissance missions. The design work was initiated by the design unit in March 1931, with the internal aircraft code named ANT-21. The official name is MI-3. Regardless of the design concept of ANT-21, the technology used in it was not very advanced. It adopted the most advanced technology or materials such as all-metal semi-monocoque structure, stressed metal skin, and retractable landing gear. The aircraft is a low-wing, twin-engine heavy fighter, with a cantilevered upper wing for the horizontal tail, large rectangular rudder behind the tail, and twin vertical tails installed at the tip of the tail. Compared with other aircraft of the same period, the aircraft's appearance is relatively simple and streamlined. The power of the aircraft is provided by the M-17B V-12 liquid-cooled engine, with a single output of 680 horsepower, which was widely used in the Soviet Union at that time. The engine on the ANT-21 has a smooth outer shell, which, although not streamlined, can reduce some aerodynamic drag. Each engine drives a pair of two-blade propellers. As a heavy fighter, the empty weight of ANT-21 slightly exceeds 5,000 kg, which is not light. The two engines can propel the aircraft to a maximum speed of approximately 350 km per hour, a maximum altitude of nearly 8,000 meters, and a maximum range of approximately 1,100 km. Based on these data alone, it was considered acceptable in the slightly earlier 1930s, but in reality, the aircraft's maneuvering capability was quite poor, and the prototype experienced dangerous vibrations during testing in 1933. In terms of crew configuration, the aircraft has a three-person crew. The nose is arranged in a stepped layout, with the frontmost position likely for the navigator and bombardier, the pilot in a higher position at the rear, and another crew member in an open position behind the aircraft, responsible for operating the defensive machine gun and possibly serving as a radio operator. Currently, different articles provide different introductions to the weapon configuration of this aircraft. However, it is certain that there are two 7.62mm defensive machine guns on the back of the aircraft, one 12.7mm machine gun may be mounted on the nose, and an additional two 7.62mm machine guns may be installed on the wing roots. As a multi-purpose fighter, ANT-2 would need to have the capability to carry bombs for simple bombing missions, but unfortunately, there is no data on this aspect. In 1932, the design unit had already developed the second prototype based on the first prototype, named ANT-2 BIS. It used a more powerful M-34 engine as its power source, and the rear part of the aircraft had undergone significant changes, with the twin vertical tails being replaced by a single large vertical tail, and the heavy machine gun in the nose being replaced by a 20mm cannon. ANT-2 BIS underwent some testing in 1934, and although its performance had improved in some aspects, it was still not easy to operate, putting the pilot's skills to the test. At the same time, Factory No. 22 had begun preparations for the production of ANT-2 fighter aircraft, and it was estimated that the aircraft would be ready for production in 1935. Also in 1934, another similar aircraft named ANT-46 conducted test flights and showed much more reliable performance, thus surpassing the achievements of ANT-2 and securing mass production.